So ladies and gentlemen, uh, what we're going to talk about right now is congruent polygons. And this is something I just want to go back to and make sure we're on the same page when I, when I say something is congruent. All right. So, so far, the only thing we've talked about uh, in terms of congruence was angles and line segments, or lines. Well, not lines, but line segments. M, N, O, P. A, B, C, D, E, F. OK, now. When we first started talking about line segments and lines, what we talked about you know, is, well, what happens if these angle measures are equal in measure? right? So what we could say was, we would say angle A, B, C is congruent right? That means congruent. A, B, C is congruent to angle D, E, F. Right? Congruent means they're equal in measure. Right? Whatever the measurement is of this, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, whatever, these two angles are equal to each other. Right? And how do we represent their equal? We represent their equal by giving them tick marks. We can give them one tick mark, two tick marks, three tick marks, four tick marks. All right? But we say that they're equal by giving them those tick marks. Then we, started, we also talked about when line segments are congruent. So we'd say M, N is congruent to O, P. Right? Now, we don't know the length of these, right? These could be 13 inches, a foot. We don't know. But we're not concerned about this. The only thing we know is since they both share one tick mark, we know that they are congruent in measure, right? OK, so how is that going to help us with congruent polygons? So congruent polygons, ladies and gentlemen, are polygons that have congruent parts. OK, so let's call this A, B, C, D, E, F. If they have, if polygons are congruent, that means all of their parts are congruent. Angle A is congruent to angle D. Angle B is congruent to angle E. Angle C is congruent to angle F. All right, now that shows actually similarity, so we got to make sure it's congruent for all of their parts, not just their angles are equal, but also the measure of their sides. Just pass it up um, to Malik, and then we'll go through it. So therefore, we also need to show that line AB is congruent to line DE. Line BC is congruent to line EF. And line CA is congruent to FD. All right. So congruent polygons have the exact same measure for all of their angles and the exact same measure for all of their side lengths. They're equal in length, in measure of their sides, and equal in measure of their angles. Does everybody understand and see that? OK? All right. That's very, very important.